I'm Rowena Dash, back at the Neil Cochran House Museum again for another edition of Wall of Words. Uh, the object we're talking about today is called Cover Up. It is another porcelain piece by visual artist Ginger Geyer. It is, um, for me, uh, it's my favorite piece in this show. It was pr produced specifically for the exhibition If These Walls Could Talk. And I think what is most powerful to me about it is that um, the artist had the inspiration to produce this work based on this wall in the Neil Cochran House Museum. Um, what you're seeing here is a deconstructed wall. This is bare plaster, um, and the plaster actually fronts um, the solid masonry walls of, the, of our structure. Our structure is entirely built of limestone rubble. Um, the reason the wall looks the way it does is because we actually pulled original wallpaper off of this space and we left it semi-deconstructed to make it obvious how the house was built. So um, Ginger came in and she saw that and she thought, well, what if I were to try to recreate a wallpaper for this space? And she went online, um, she found a 1950s um, kit, um, which is really quite wonderful, Sears Harmony House wallpaper showing a housewife um, in her apron and everything, hanging the paper herself. Um, and these are tools that came with kits like this, uh, including a plumb line, which you see here, would, you would hang to make sure that you were hanging your paper correctly. Plumb line has a long history um, in the terminology of justice and religion in terms of walking the straight line and doing what you ought um, in life. What she's done here though, and this is where this becomes really powerful as an object, is the paper. You can see the uh, ivy within it, but also the paper itself is replicating scenes from a Courier and Ives set from the 19th century um, called um, the Old Plantation Home. And so you have several pages, Good Times on the Old Plantation, the Old Plantation Home, um, and what you can see is that these are very stereotypical images of African Americans. And Courier and Ives actually had another series that they called Darky Town um, that really uh, played up this concept of blackface and, um, in, in a way that was, was really, um, to our eyes today, just blatantly racist. Um, Courier and Ives, of course, is best known for their beautiful snowscapes with sleighs and young couples um, cavorting out in the countryside. And so they grew up, um, their chromolithography business was really a part of that time where Americans were looking for a simpler life, um, kind of looking away from the cities to this bucolic and pastoral environment in the countryside. And it's really interesting that at that same time, they were producing a series um, that romanticized the concept of the antebellum plantation. Um, with that as inspiration, we have a series of phrases that we will post as an image under this video. Uh, we look forward to you all taking those phrases, arrange them however you'd like, and posting some poetry of your own, which we hope to be able to share when we reopen, um, along with our actual wall of words at the Neil Cochran House Museum.